This is a short video to introduce you to a new type of battery that is coming to the world market. It is called the no popo or the non pollution power battery. What you have before you are four batteries a Duracell alkaline copper top on the left followed by an energizer alkaline and the two on the right are the new no popo or non pollution power batteries. As you look at the no popo batteries on the right you will notice that they look very similar. They are absolutely identical every way with the exception of the outside covering or what we call the outside wrapper. The reason is the one on the left has Japanese writing for the Japanese market and the one on the right has English writing for the US market. That is the only difference between the two batteries. Now, as we sit there and look, they are all AA batteries. They all produce 1.5 volts of current. The two on the left produce 2400 milliamps and the two on the right, the no popo batteries, produce 600 milliamps of current. Now, the batteries on the left, when you go to throw those batteries away, they are non-recyclable where the two batteries on the right are completely recyclable. The two batteries on the left, your alkalines, they have acids inside of them and the two on the right, they have no acids inside of them. They only have various metals inside of them which makes them completely recyclable and very e-green or very environmental friendly. Now, the batteries on the right have a 10 year shelf life before use and the batteries on the left have approximately a 4 to 6 year shelf life depending on when you purchase those batteries. Now let's stop and we're going to take a closer look at the two no popo batteries over the alkaline batteries because they operate quite differently than your normal alkaline. So I will get rid of these and we will look at these and we will take away the Japanese version and we'll just concentrate on the English version. Again it's called the no popo, the non pollution power battery. But What makes this battery a little different than any battery you've ever used before is on the bottom of the battery it has a small hole. Through this hole is where you put the liquid, water or any type of liquid to activate it. And on the top you'll notice that there is a little small green seal and you must remove this green seal before use. Again, this is only on the no popo batteries. Removing the screen seal, you will expose a very small vent hole. And through this vent hole is where the air will escape while you put the liquid in the bottom of the battery. Now, to put liquid in the bottom of the battery, we use a little small unit called a pipette that comes with the battery. And you will puncture a little seal that's in the bottom of the battery inside that hole. And how you go about doing it is very simple use water or any kind of liquid, but first I want to show you a flashlight because I don't want you to think this is a trick or sleight of hand. We're going to take and put the battery into the flashlight. We're going to close it up here. You're going to notice that there is no light whatsoever the battery is completely in its discharge state. Again, it comes to you from the factory just like this. Take this off the bottom. Take the battery out. And How we're going to do is we're going to take our pipette. We're going to go over we're going to get a liquid. This time we're using water. You can use apple juice, orange juice, saliva, urine. It makes no difference. You're going to insert the pipette into the bottom of the battery and you're gently going to squeeze the water into the battery. Now there's a paper filament in there, kind of like a coffee filter if you would per se, that you're basically wetting. And you're going to go over and get you a little bit more liquid. I usually use two of the little pipette fills because I only fill them up about a quarter or a half away. And you gently put it in. I always tell everybody it's like milk in a cow in a way because you're just going to gently squeeze it in until you start seeing the bubbles create around the battery where you're putting it in. Wipe off any excess moisture that's on the bottom. Don't worry about the water coming out because remember it's a, it's a paper filament. 
inside is what you have wet and the paper filament goes the full length of the battery so don't worry about it coming out it's not like a tank that you're filling you're just wetting metals all you're doing now we're going to take the battery we're going to put it into the flashlight I'm going to screw it back together here turn it on and presto you now have light you're making useful current out of water again it's uh, very simple it's not rocket science this technology has been around a long time the Japanese just are the ones who found a way to package it into a useful way that we can use it again no popo battery again it is completely recyclable um, it is green as green gets you have a 10 year shelf life on the battery before use you can refill it or quote recharge it five times you have approximately about a year to use it once you charge it the first time that's basically when the clock starts because you've introduced moisture and water now I've used it in other devices I've used it in a small radio I got a Radio Shack radio I got off the shelf all I did here is in the bottom as you can see I got the no popo batteries in the bottom put it back together and come over here and turn it on and presto and this battery will operate for 30 days on this radio before I have to refill it again again it's an off-the-shelf device and it works absolutely fine with no problem I've been able to go 30 days with no problem it's not on constantly but on and off the no popo is available in a package that comes with a flashlight that comes with a battery and the pipette so it's all in one kit there or you can just buy the batteries by themselves again this is new and it's coming to market look for it on your store shelves and always remember it is called the no popo or non pollution power battery you can find out all information and where to buy it at waterbattery.com here in the United States.